got 20 plus carries tonight. Just how nice was it to get into a rhythm in the offense? Very nice. I feel like that definitely helped helped me a lot. Tony, no CJ at night. Uh, what was it like, kind of after Texas and then just this week and then kind of going in tonight and your mindset with without having CJ mm -hmm. on the team? Well, you know he's the the big pound guy, so I knew on the short yards I knew I had to get them yards. So. I think we practiced all weekend and on the bye week to, to do that, knowing he was going to miss out. But definitely glad he's he's coming back. Coach Brown said you were being decisive tonight with your uh, cuts and how you were uh, turning up field. Did you uh, work on something different this week, or did you focus on something, a uh, different mentality going into your running? Uh, yeah, definitely. just And just coaching. Like, they helped me all bye week, just telling me, like, like, be decisive because I'm a better runner when I'm decisive and my shoulders are square. And I've been working on that all week, and that's what happened. What did you see on that first touchdown where you put your foot in the ground and switched fields? Mm, just following my blockers. Uh, the one hole went in there, went to us out of my other blockers, and it was there. So just following my old lineman. They did a very great job, opened up a lot of lanes tonight. So definitely just following them and trusting all the coaching points Coach Scott gave me. Do you feel any different tonight or see anything different with, with CJ not out there? Because he talked about before how he opened up some space for you. Was it harder? Were you having to do more? Nah, everything was pretty the same. Did you put any pressure on yourself this week to kind of have a big game with him out and kind of nah. Ranger instead of a duo? Just went with the same routine I do every week and just bought into what the coaches was telling me and our whole offense. And went with it. Tony, you had some some inside runs that went outside for successful gains. Um, receivers, tight ends, blocking for you out there. Did that help you out? Definitely. The wideouts did a phenomenal job tonight on blocking on every run. Every big run came from the wideouts blocking. So definitely credited all of them. They did a great job. That's that's not. I mean, it's not decisive where you see it and go. But like, if you decide that you can get outside because you know that's going to be there, how much of a difference does that make knowing that? And you might get a block from Sam or Brian or someone like nah, that. No, that's a a big difference. Like one block, like that. That's the the, the whole key to all the outside plays. That's that, all the inside plays that bounce outside. That's all from the wideouts blocking downfield. When you're in these late game situations, how big is it to have a general a quarterback like JT Daniels to kind of just stay calm and lead? Mm -hmm. JT does a great job staying calm. Like he's probably the the most calmest person I've ever seen in the critical moments, like he, he, he's calm, he's the same, neutral.